Hi everyone, so in this lecture we are going to talk about uh, this Django graph based application. So basically with the help of this you can generate uh, you know two different types of graphs. You can customize them also based on your requirements but uh, for this one I'm going to just show you how this application work and how the graphs can be generated. So this is how the login uh, the registration page of the application looks like. So you can use it for registering your profile on this and once you get registered automatically it redirects you to the login page wherein you can enter your login credentials. So we are going to start directly by entering the login credentials and checking out the terminal. So this is how the terminal of the application looks like. Okay, so this is the home page of the application, sorry. And here, as you can see, there are two windows, right? And they are blank right now. Now, why they are blank? Because we do not have any entries in the admin panel. So what we are going to do, we are going to quickly enter some products in the admin panel and to access it, we just have to write admin after this uh, URL. And this is how the admin panel looks like and we need to come on orders and here as you can see it's completely blank you know that's the reason why these two uh, you know parts are blank and we are not able to see anything let's go back and here we are going to add some orders to it so I have something here in the Excel sheet I'm going to pick up the details from here I'm going to just push it over here in this uh, particular table and let's go with August 1 and here I'm going to select noon quickly I'm going to add you know one more order and then we will be checking the graph so Google pixel 17 170,000 and here I'm going to make it December midnight save okay so we have two orders now we just have to give a refresh to the graph let's see what's gonna happen so we can see uh you know two graphs over here right so this is the sale in august and this is in december and this is what we have as a linear chart over here let's add some more items to this and check what's gonna happen to the graph okay so i'm gonna keep it twelve thousand, and here i'm gonna add uh, let's let's add you know a date from 2022 and uh, we are going to add six as time then add order product name let's add this one and here I'm going to add 12123100 date let's add one of the dates from 2021 okay so six and there here let's add now save and let's check out the graph okay so we have this graph and you know there is a hover property also which is uh, you know which we can make use of right so this is uh, the table kind of a thing which is getting reflected over here and you know whatever details you've added everything is visible to us over here in this table right so these buttons are not functional right now if you want to make it functional it's very easy you just have to add some you know back end coding and they will become functional then as you can see on the to top we can see the total sales we can see the peak sale right so this is i think for the iphone if i'm not wrong yes google pixel not the iphone so this is what is uh, in the peak sale then total number of orders we sold out are four then best month was December right where we sold out uh, a Google pixel worth rupees 170,000 right so this is what this is the kind of thing you can uh, create using Django as a backend and bootstrap HTML CSS JavaScript as in the front end right I hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to create and become a successful developer you can take my coding classes I I'm guaranteeing you that you're going to take away lots and lots of things from that. Thank you very much for joining. Have a great, great day ahead, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.